on. Volunteers have been helping this week at food bank locations in Fargo and Bismarck. They say it feels good to give back, especially when more people are utilizing the food bank to make ends meet and to stay fed. If you haven't volunteered for the Great Plains Food Bank yet, I really encourage you to come out and volunteer, especially with this packathon. It is just an amazing opportunity experience and you will feel wonderful. Throughout the years of this program, more than 175 million meals have been distributed. Please remember to help stock the shelves of the Great Plains Food Bank. We've raised about $17,000 so far, but our goal is $50,000. Corwin Automotive is matching all gifts up to $50,000 made by the end of this month. You can find the link to donate right on our website, valleynewslive.com. Just look for the Stock the Shelves logo. If you plan on heading to Grand Forks and East Grand Forks this weekend, make time for road delays. The Potato Bowl Parade is this weekend and will impact traffic and bus routes in the two cities tomorrow. Now the parade is 10 a.m. until noon. It starts at North 8th Street, traveling down to Mers Avenues across the Sorley Bridge and into East Grand Forks where the parade will end. We have information on the impacted bus routes. Head to our website at valleynewslive.com. No rest for the high-flying Red Hawks after last night's come-from-behind win. Beth is in with that story in sports next.